Hey guys, Dr. Kyle Loveless here. Hey, I want to shoot a quick video. Um, obviously, I'm driving and, and we just had a baby actually um, four days ago. So I'm probably going to be doing a lot of videos driving because my time is um, a little taken up more than it used to be. Uh, we have a beautiful baby girl, Isabella Grace, or Isabel Grace. I keep wanting to call her Isabella. I don't know where that, maybe that'll be her nickname. But Isabel Grace and uh, everything went amazing with the birth. I'll tell you the story about the birth uh, maybe a different time, but um, really cool, really fast. Uh, God stuff. I mean, like really cool stuff, like divine intervention stuff that literally uh, was amazing. So um, nothing went as planned, but it went perfect. So it was pretty cool. I actually didn't even make it home before our baby was born. It happened so quickly. But anyway, she's healthy. Uh, Holly's healthy, and uh, everything went well. So thank you all for um, the good wishes and, and hanging with us. If you're a patient through this time, I know we had to close office a couple times, but for the most part, it's been open. And I'm actually heading there right now to go see patients. Um, it's just, just what we love to do. So, so let's dive into this. Today's your workout tip of the week. Uh, doing this driving, I'm not in workout clothes. However, I have been working out still. So I got a great tip for you today. It came to me yesterday. Um, really cool tip, okay? And this, this is the workout tip of the week. I wish I'm gonna give you a couple of them today. The first workout tip of the week that I have for you, I actually recorded last week, but it didn't work out with the recording. So I wasn't able to redo it and, and I didn't get to get to put it out there but the workout tip of the week today is or this week is ultimately once you start or once you decide to do a workout so let's say I'm gonna do 50 push-ups 50 pull-ups whatever 50 squ air squats let's say that's gonna be my workout and I want to do three sets of that or, or whatever that sounds like a lot but you get my point I'm, I set a workout um, the best thing you can ever do is to make sure you do it okay so if I say I'm gonna do 50 of each one of those and I get to, let's say, 40 of each one of those and I'm spent and my mind's just like, oh, that was enough, that was a good workout. My mind tends to wanna to stop and not continue on with what I actually committed to doing. The problem with that is, is when we stop and don't commit to what we're doing or telling ourselves, our mind, ourselves, it's okay to be, um, uh, to be uh, average, or I guess you could say, it's okay to quit early, it's okay because you worked hard a little bit is a good enough kind of concept and that's not how we want our mindset to be that will actually beat us up because one of my favorite quotes and I wish I it's my favorite quote I should actually figure out who said it but I saw it on a gym wall one time and it said how you um, what you do in here how you work in here is exactly how you work or what you do in the rest of your life so pretty much what, you how you act in messages. here is how you work everywhere so um, it doesn't change and so it's the, because it's how your mindset is you know we quit early we're gonna quit early out in the real world so I see exercise more than anything I see as a mindset thing um, it's something that keeps me strong it's something that keeps me you know when, when other challenges come up in life like having a baby I'm um, having some things going on with our clinics and, and other stuff all that stuff build up and um, yeah and things I want to create more things I want to create it's a lot of things building up and and it can say like ah that's just too much I don't want to overdo it and all those things but from exercising, I know I always have more and it doesn't actually stress me as much as it would if I hadn't been doing these certain exercises. So committing to your workout and actually finishing it. Now here's what I mean. So you could say, well, I could only, I said 50, but I couldn't get 50, I could only get 40. Here's what you do, is you take more time, okay? So if you can't do 50 push-ups and you can only get to 40 push-ups, I know I'm talking kind of smaller numbers here, but if you can't get to 40 push, or you only get to 40 and you can't get to 50, then you do one at a time for the next 10 minutes if you have to. Does that make sense? One every minute. But no matter what, you get your number, right? If you ran out of time and you gotta get to work, when you get home at the end of the night, you finish your workout. Finishing is key. It gives your mind this just superpower to realize it always has more than you think it does. Um, David Goggins wrote a book called Can't Catch Me, and you can look him up, but he's a Navy SEAL, and he's gone through like three different hell weeks and um, ranger camps and, and, and um, uh, whatever the Air Force one is, Delta Force training and all this other stuff. He's an elite guy, runs ultra marathons, and he, he, he says it like this. Once you feel like you're done, and this is with exercise, but I think it's with anything in life, once you think you're to your limit, you're only about 40%. Okay, so you have about 60% left. You're not even halfway there. You always have more. So always finish what you say you're gonna do. That one is the biggest one. If you work out with me, you know I'm a big fan of that. The second tip I wanna give you, this is a quick kind of bonus one, is for guys, okay? I'm, pro I'm probably gonna use this one again next week because it's so good. So I have a lot of patients and guys are always saying, I don't have time to work out. Oh, everybody says that, but I've been 
working with guys lately and, and they said, I, I asked them, you know, they're starting to follow a good diet and everything. I'm like, all right, cool. What are you doing with exercise? The guys definitely need to be lifting weights. They need to be doing something intensive to increase growth hormone and testosterone. So I asked him, you know, what are you doing? Just don't have time to do that doc. It's just too busy, too much going on, right? And I'm like, all right, cool. So from now on, this is your commitment. And I said, well, you commit to this one thing every day, one thing every day for exercise. All you have to do is 50 push-ups a day. 50 push-ups a day, that's it. You don't have to put your workout clothes on. You can do five sets of 10. You can do 10 sets of five. I don't care. In 24 hours, you have to get 50 push-ups in that day. And then, and that's it. And then once you get that confidence of, hey, that doesn't take much time at all. I'm at the office. Nobody's looking. I'll go into, my, go into a side room, do five push-ups, do 10 push-ups. Simple. You don't have to change. You're getting the workout in. And push-ups are so good because it's a, it really is a full body workout, even though it seems like it's just your chest. It's, it's a plank, so you got to flex your abs and it works on your core. So it's a full body workout more than anything. And um, it's one of the best things out there. If you want to advance this, and you're going to do 50 pull-ups too right? Or, and, and you can get 50 pull-ups in a day. It's not as hard as it sounds, but you can add that in there too. But just at least at a minimum, 50 push-ups, 50 push-ups a day. It's all you have to do to get things started. And it'll build energy. You'll start boosting hormones. You'll get blood flow going. A cool study that came out this year showed that men that can do 40 push-ups or more consistently without stopping have a 90% less risk of having a heart attack or heart disease. Yeah, as a heart attack. That's pretty cool. So if you're a guy out there and you can do 40 push-ups without stopping, then your risk of heart attack is shown to be less, at least 90% less than a guy who can't. And the reason that is, is oxygen distribution. It means your your, your um, muscles are working efficiently, they're getting oxygen, they're using it, and your heart doesn't have to work as hard just to get through your every single day. Pretty cool stuff. So that means you got good blood flow, things are going good. So 50 push-ups a day. Commit to that today, guys and girls. And you can say, I can't do 50 push-ups, Doc. I guarantee you, you have, you have, let's say, 12 hours in a day. If you did one push-up every five minutes, every 10 minutes, every just level, you just gotta lay it out there. It's easy. Five push-ups, wait another five minutes, do five more push-ups, or just randomly throughout your day, crank out five push-ups. If you can't do one real push-up, then do a, uh, the knee push-ups. I won't say girl push-ups. Do the knee push-ups. I do this sometimes. If I get if I get to a, a certain limit and I'm I, want, I, I created a number that I'm going to do this many push-ups and I don't want to miss that number and I can't I, I, I'm just can't push up anymore, then I go to my knees. If you can't do the knee push-ups, then start out at an angle on a bench or on a chair. Okay. If you can't do this, then start out on a wall. There is zero excuses for why you can't do 50 push-ups a day. Everybody can do this. If you can't find time to work out, this is where you start. Cool? You can add in pull-ups, you can add in air squats. Hey, great idea. 50 push-ups, 50 air squats every day. Guarantee you can do it. Hey guys, that's your workout tip of the week. Like this, love it, share it. This is essential for people to understand that it is easy to work out. It doesn't take a gym, it doesn't take workout clothes, it doesn't take anything special, and it's it's you can start anywhere, right? If you're a couch potato and all you do is watch TV, then start doing um, <laughs> put some put some uh, worship music on and say praise the hallelujah and throw your arms up in the air up and down over and over again right it, there is no some people are just like I'm not an athlete I don't like to exercise cool do something fun then there's so many things you can do out there but that's my workout tip of the week guys always finish what you say you're gonna do and just start out simple 50 push-ups a day you guys have an awesome day